Hi there, this is just a quick unboxing video of the Amazon Echo Show 5. This is the version that's in black. Um, just a rundown of kind of their advertising. So it's basically an Alexa, um, connectivity with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and an audio out. Although I'm yet to see why that would be useful for something like this. And it's also got a built-in camera cover for privacy concerns. Um, yep, so that's the... That's the kind of advertising on, on the box. In terms of what you get in the box, um, there's the actual device itself. So I'll, I'll take the wrapping off in a, in a second. So this is how the device comes packed. Uh, quite, quite weighty. You get standard uh, documentation and the power plug. And on, on the look of it, this is the same as what is supplied by some of the original uh, supplied with some of some of the original Amazon Alexas, the tube looking ones. Okay, so just to continue on, here is the actual device um, out of the cellophane wrapping. So it's kind of a nice, I would say, um, dock speaker looking look. Uh, at the top there, you've got uh, three buttons, two of those presumably to control the volume. And what there looks like on the right hand side, just a power switch. Um, so this is qu this is quite quite small and compact. Um, there is a bigger version of this, which I believe is the Echo Show Eight, which um, I believe is technically the same, but definitely has a, a bigger screen. Um, I may actually confirm and put some comments on the video later as to if there's any technical differences. Typically, sometimes, having just thought about it, they may have more more memory. Um, so just to have a look at the, the connection. So going from left to right, uh, you've got power, USB, um, and then also the audio out that I mentioned. So that is the, the device, I guess, apart from the power cable, which is to be plugged in. Um, that's how it would look. So what I'll probably do is pause this video here and then get it plugged in. I won't kind of go through the whole setup process, but I'll show you what it looks like um, in terms of the screen quality once I get it plugged in. Okay, so excuse the um, reflection here. This is slightly dark room um, that was me just plug it in and not having pressed anything so you can see this is the actual loading on kind of first time boot up that noise you hear is coming from the echo Interestingly, I talked about the buttons at the top. I've not actually pressed any of these. I just plugged in the power and the screen basically powered up and we've now got to this screen here. So I'm not gonna continue recording throughout the whole loading process, but I will go through until this asks me for more information um, in terms of login. So we're in the UK, English is that what I'll select? So touch screen Hello. there. Ready for setup. Okay, so there's a whole host of Wi Fi signals that this has found. Um, this will probably continue through to the setup process. So I'm going to leave this here for a for a bit. Um, the, the video may end here or actually will continue later. Let me just see how far I can get down the setup and if there's any other useful bits to show. So just to continue here, what I've done is selected uh, one of those Wi-Fi networks and entered the password. Let's just see how it connects, just to give you guys a feel for what it looks like. Okay, so it's asking for an Amazon account now. So I'll go ahead, put this in, and then continue the video because I think it'll be useful actually just to get through to what the setup process looks like and then where you then end up on the home screen. Okay, so 
just that kind of break there and there'll be no break in the video clearly um i basically entered my amazon login details after which it asked me to obviously um accept um the terms of use which i didn't look into but at that same time it confirmed to me basically my name which is as per the amazon account to and then confirm that this device is now registered to me it then asked me to select um, the time zone, which I did. And then we've now got to this stage where it's saying there'll be some updates available and it could take up to 10 minutes to download. So at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and do the download and install. Um, and presumably, this device. And then presumably this could take up to 10 minutes, but clearly the download's just been done in uh, a few seconds, which has got us to 76% there. So... Maybe if I just hang on to give you guys a feel for how long this update takes. You're probably wondering why I've got the screen at an angle. I'm basically trying to avoid um, some of the glare that I was getting. But let me just turn this around a little bit now because the glare is gone. So whilst that's loading is, you, you can imagine a kind of a, a normal phone screen. So this is obviously the Echo Show 5, so roughly a 5-inch screen there. So that's the kind of size we're talking about, not too dissimilar to the phone I'm recording this on, which is a Samsung Galaxy S8. Uh, screen is, is relatively clear. Um, well, actually, it's very clear as to whether the brightness and, and the kind of different colors on there, um, TBC, and we'll do more testing on that. The touchscreen is, is is very responsive. Um, and, and the sound, which you've heard on the video, is good as well. So clearly, they're making use of this time because they're assuming most people, like we're doing here, will be sat in front of it looking at this splash screen. So making the best use of this time whilst the update is to kind of advertise what else uh, and what further integrations this can have. Okay, so it looks like the download is complete because it says downloading system updates dot 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 100% complete. But the top Ooh. header there is device updates. As I install the updates. This device will restart twice. All right, I think this is going to be a good time for another cut. So I'm going to pause the video and then recommence it when the next interesting and pivotal point I think is going to be the best. All right, so not not too long gone from the last cut, but basically the unit restarted, um, it powered up, and then it's now showing this screen. Okay, it's probably good that I paused the video there because actually this update took uh, quite a while to get to this stage, so it's, it's booted itself up. Um, I would say it probably just took around four to five minutes, but when you're sitting in front of it doing nothing, that's obviously quite a while. Anyway, so now that it's back, um, it's now going to go through an introduction video to highlight the ways you can use your new device. So I'm going to go ahead and look at this. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but if there's any pivotal points, I'll restart the video. If not, this is probably going to be a good time to end this, and then I may follow up with another video on the uses of the actual device.